they don't dance and tell We live in cities, you'll never see our screen of Hey guys, today I'm going to show you uh, how you can get a kiosk firmware on the latest update 4.60. Uh, what you need is at least uh, a USB and you need, I think, WinRAR. And you also need an account on NextGen Update. If you don't know that, uh, Cookie Monster will leave a link in the description. Uh, there will also be two links for a converter and a reverter. First off, you want to download them both. Uh, the converter is uh, you can get on, that's the one where you can get on kiosk, and the refer is how you can get back. So, if you download both those links, you'll just go to, well, I'm going to go to downloads. Um, just, first off, plug in your USB, like that. Uh, then go to, or make a folder, all capital letters, and then PS3. And inside the folder, make another folder called update, also all capital letters. And drag the uh, converter update, drag it in here. It has to be called ps 3 updatepup So after that, just close uh, this. Make sure you safely eject the USB so you don't get any corrupt updates. Okay, so after you've done that, Plug it into your right slot USB. Make sure you plug it in the right slot because if you do it in the left one, it won't work. So after that, that's Cookie Monster. So after that, go to System Update, uh, Update via Storage Management. I'm not sure. Just the lower one. Now it's going to search. And it says 4.6 promotion, retail to promotional, uh, just click confirm. Yes, accept this. So I'll get back to you guys once this is done. It shouldn't take really long, about 1-2 minutes. Okay guys, so once that's finished, you can see in the bottom it says PlayStation 3 demonstration mode 4.60. So, gotta turn on my controller, after that. You go to security settings and you press. Hang on, let me put this on. Just keep hovering over this and press L1, R1, select and square at the exact same time. And then it says enter your password of four digitals. So mine is just 000. zero zero. And as you can see, it says install package files, but that it's just fake. Don't try to install Multiman or something or anything else, it just doesn't work. And now you can delete the MW2 patch. I've already done that. I've. Well, let me delete it again. So, as you can see, I deleted it. I don't have any MW2 patch. So, I'm gonna start up a game for you guys. Just to show that it actually works, so that you don't have to install the whole patch again. As you can see, I don't know if I install anything. Let's go to multiplayer. And as you can see, it says online interaction not rated by ESRB. If some of you guys may remember that, that's also what it says when you used uh, Elite Master's Patch Blocker. So, that's also a sign that it's, it's uh, working. So as you can see, I'm gonna try to join Cookie Monster. And by the way, as you can see there, it was just played Titanium V1, so it all just works, it isn't any fake shit, I don't know how you want to call it. As you can see, I'm joining him with now, he's probably making a video or something. As you can see, I'm in fair aim up. Yeah, I need 
So, it all works. And, yeah, that's basically it.